All right, so we got the truck all loaded up. We're heading to Arizona for a basketball tournament. I wanna see how the truck's gonna do with the range, and I wanna see how often we're gonna have to stop and charge. So let's get to it. We have 307 miles, which is 97%. Uh, let's go ahead and put in where we're going. We're going to Chandler. Okay, so right here, it's telling us we're gonna go to Ehrenberg, Arizona, and that's three hours and seven minutes, miles away, and we're gonna get there with 10%. And we'll be there at 12 p.m., 12.03. All right, let's go. All right, so I set the cruise control to 70. I want to try to keep it at 70 as long as I can. I doubt I'm going to be able to do that for very long just because I think the flow of traffic is going to want me to go a little faster. We'll see how it goes, see how long we can stay at 70. Okay, so I know that when I did the video with TFL and Andre, also when I did my video with John Redinger, they both expressed uh, how awkward or different the steering wheel was and where hand placement would be. So I just kind of want to address that for me, what's comfortable is how it has these little um, slants at what would be probably like two o'clock, 10 o'clock uh, that's where I like to keep my hands. When I get tired of having both arms and hands on the wheel, what I end up doing is my left hand in the middle, or I'll do this, and it works for me, it's comfortable. I actually prefer this setup over a traditional steering wheel. Beyond that, I wanna talk about efficiency. So when we first started the trip, it mentioned or it stated that we were gonna show up to the supercharger and our first stop with 10%. It's now showing 25%, which is incredible. The fact that it went from 10 to 25. But the reason for that would be over here. So we've been driving for about an hour and a half. We've gone 86 miles. We've used 34 kilowatt hours and our efficiency is at 395 watt hours per mile. Like I said, we're at 70 miles per hour cruise control. I've been staying within that for the most part. Accelerated a little bit to get around traffic, but I pretty much have stayed up at 70 and it's showing with the efficiency. So uh, for all those that are concerned about the range and uh, getting what is uh, estimated to you, I'm showing different. It's, it's actually uh, better than than what it's stating and uh, like I said it said 10% we're on arrival and it's actually 25 so extremely encouraging and uh, very positive
gained 252 kilowatts. It's really, really good. All right, so our efficiency, let's take a look at our numbers. So we ended up going to a different supercharger than what they originally wanted us to go to, um, just because originally uh, we wouldn't make it here, but because of how well the Cybertruck did, um, I changed our destination from that supercharger to this one. Um, we went 216 miles, used 94 kilowatt hours, efficiency of 434 watt hours per mile. Um, we've already gained nine miles. So we got here with, um, we got here with what, 51 miles. All right, we got here to the supercharger in Quartzsite. Um, one thing I wanna show is how big this place is. So there's 84 stalls. When I got here, there was no one here. Uh, now there's a couple of people, but 84 stalls. But here's the big thing, as you guys all know, pull through. There's two pull through sites, stalls, which is a must in my opinion, especially all these new ones. I wish they would have put more. I wish they would have been a little bit bigger, but I get it, you know. Only so much real estate, right? But happy to see that they're putting pull throughs at these new, superchargers and this place is massive all right we're gonna go get a bite to eat right eli where are you at right here. let's go get something to eat we're hungry we've been charging for a little bit it's come down quite a bit 132 kilowatts we've been charging i don't know maybe 15 minutes or so but i want to show set it to 100 but let's be realistic if we were to do 60, we would only have seven minutes left. So about a 20 something minute charge time. 80 goes to 25 and then you jump up to 100 and then it really slows down. An hour and 10 minutes. Just want to share that with you guys. All right, so we were here a little bit longer than I thought or I wanted to be. Carl's Jr. had a huge line. We were there for a while. So we weren't sitting in the truck or anything. It was just a matter of waiting for our food. So we pretty much got a full charge. Got to 99%. Been here for about an hour and 10 minutes. Obviously getting a lot of attention. I've been in extract mode just to kind of show some of the people around here. But yeah, so we got 158 miles left and it says we'll be there with 39%. <laughs> Right, so pretty much got to our destination 46% left and 45 miles let's go to trips so total distance traveled was 373 miles used 155 kilowatt hours and this was really impressive 416 watt hours per mile on the first leg of the trip here I had the cruise control set to 70 and I stayed true to that I would say 90% of the time Second leg of the trip, I did more of a 75 mile per hour speed, but there was some traffic as we got into Arizona and Phoenix area. So that I'm sure helped with the efficiency, but overall, I'm gonna go ahead and do a screenshot and review of the Tessie app. And that way that can give a better idea of my speed and elevation as well as uh, efficiency. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys now. So here you can see our drive to Quartzsite Supercharger. My average speed was 64 miles per hour with a max of 77, so I stayed within that 70 mile per hour cruise control. Elevation was 250 feet. Um, efficiency was 85%, which isn't bad used quite a bit of battery obviously um, on this far drive energy efficiency was 454 watt hours per mile which I think was pretty good um, and the exterior temperature outside was 71 degrees so overall good conditions 
and then our final leg of the trip getting into Arizona and into the city uh, average speed was 59 miles per hour mainly due to the traffic once we got into town with the max of 80 miles per hour uh, elevation change was a plus of 351 feet amazing efficiency as far as 93% which I thought was really really good um, used a little bit of battery wasn't wasn't that far of a distance uh, but the efficiency of 412 watt hours per mile I thought was really really good so overall I think this was a great test to show that on long trips the Cybertruck does really well with the range and efficiency for all those who are concerned I think this kind of helps with that.